Joe, how frustrating was it to have have it start that way in the first half you got Yeah, it was frustrating, but you know, I knew I had faith that we would come back, and I'm proud of the way we played in the second half, came back strong, and put ourselves in position to win the game. Did you feel like it was more mistakes on your end or just what they were doing on defense creating all those turnovers? you got to give them credit. And they had a good plan, uh, showed some new things. So we lost film and, and readjust. Joe, what kind of was the, what, why were they able to kind of intercept you so well in the first half? Now, what was the issue there, you think? And they made good plays. Uh, obviously, I'd like to have some of those back. And, and they made play, some, some good plays on some of them. It's kind of maybe, was it was there any rust coming off of you know maybe not playing since last year maybe a little bit of reps opposed to you know everything that happened during training camp and any of that you think play a role into that the first half? We won't make any excuses. It, it is what it is. First half didn't go our way. Second half I thought we played well. What was the difference today? Completing the balls. On the third down when you guys decided to kick, obviously you knew what was going on with the long snapper situation. Did you did you want to? Keep it and kind of try and win the game in your hands, or at that point, are you just this is the decision? Uh, that's not my decision. Um, I execute the as well as I can, and you know what happens happens. Obviously, didn't go our way. So take us through uh, the game tying touchdown to Jamar, the plays that led up to it, and kind of how you found him in the corner of the end zone, uh, front edge of the end zone. Yeah, that was a roller coaster. They were uh, they were doubling him down there. Uh, but we thought we could fit that in and uh, executed it well. Did this feel a lot like the Green Bay game? Last year? Definitely up and down. Roller coaster game, that's for sure. Did you think any of the time that you missed during training camp and not playing in the preseason game had anything to do with kind of how the first half went for you guys offensively? No, I don't think so. You're really hard on yourself in the Tennessee game for taking a sack and getting out of field goal range. Uh, happened a couple times today. Was was that a, just a matter of kind of finding your footing and getting back and shaking off the rest? Or? Yeah, we'll have to watch the film and see. Uh, it's tough to, to recall those plays right now. How much do you think the line not having time to play together in a game yet kind of affected their communication and play today? Anytime you have new guys up front, it's going to take a while to to get the, the communication right up front. And you know, I thought they did a good job. Joe, the defense played pretty well. How does that affect your mindset when you know you've got them backing you up? Does it make you more aggressive? How, how does that work? Yeah, defense played great. you got to give them credit, and we just got to get it, get it right on offense. Was there anything specifically they were doing to kind of maybe take things away deep and, and maybe force you to play a little bit different than you can your normal used to? Yeah, they are playing a lot of too high coverage, just like you know we expect to, to happen all year. Hayden had some pretty big catches for you in overtime. Uh, were you pleased with his first performance with you guys in a regular season game? And how, how clutch was he for you when you didn't have TV out there and see at times? Yeah, well, like I said, we'll have to watch the film. But you know, first glance, I think he played really well and, and came up big for us. You talked about the roller coaster effect that you guys went through in this game. How difficult is that for you to kind of slow everything down, take deep breaths? And kind of focus on trying to move the team down the field. Yeah, I thought we did a good job of that. You know, when when things were, weren't going well, we we didn't overreact. And when things were going well, we didn't overreact as well. We I thought we stayed even keeled. Uh, obviously, we would have liked to, to come out with the win, but you live and you learn. Do you think that can be a trait of this team going forward after a loss like today? Yeah, that's how we've been the last two years, last three years, really. Uh, we've always been in every game. On the play right before the punt at the end of overtime, Coach said there was some confusion about advancing the ball. Did you know that rule, that they couldn't advance it after the fumble? And what was going on there? How, how tough was that, kind of trying to figure out what was going on? Um, yeah, I knew that rule. Um, it is what it is. It's a rule. First time you've thrown four picks in a game here, I imagine it never happened in college or high school. What, when, when you're going through that, is it what the heck's going on out here? Are you pissed off? I mean, what, what's your mindset when you Things are just going that wrong. No, I thought, obviously, you don't want to throw four picks, but I never panicked. You know, we stayed stayed even killed, and we came back and put us in position to win. You know, you got Fitzpatrick to, uh, see, uh, Fitzpatrick to anything on the, on the uh, pick six. Did he do anything that you know, force that? Yeah, he made a really good play. You could tell they, they had a plan for that. Joe, you know, you've had some success, obviously, against the Steelers. Does a loss like this thing a little bit more because it's them or you know coming out of the gates, that sort of thing? A loss is a loss, no matter, no matter who it is. Obviously, division opponent, you'd like to come out with that one, but it didn't happen.
How many times have you practiced that two-point conversion with Michael Thomas? Um, haven't thrown that one to Mike at all. It came up big on that play. I think after the touchdown you threw to Jamar Tide, you guys were obviously gassed. I mean, you used so many plays. You guys were all crouched down on the sideline, just kind of. What were, did you just talk about how tired you were with that? And, or what, what was that conversation like between you guys as you're sitting down there on the sideline? Yeah, everyone's tired, but and I thought we came back in overtime and played well and put ourselves in position. Physically, did you feel any effects from the appendectomy? Did you feel like there was no, no effect at all? No, else? I felt good. Did you think he was in at the end of regulation? Of, uh, uh, Christ, I can't remember. The, uh, the one where it looked like he was, he was in. I mean, uh, yeah, there were, there were a couple that were close. Obviously, the, the booth has a better view than I do, so it is what it is. Was there any talk, Joe, about going for two after the game tying touchdown? Did you know? Were you aware of that at all? No, you want to kick the field goal there. The extra point I meant. Yeah, you, you kick the extra point.